everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Kayla and this is the channel where I'm going to be talking about vintage fashion, vintage beauty in a modern lifestyle, a little bit of mom life in between. So if this is your jam, please subscribe, like, share, and do all the things. Hit the bell notifications for how you can see my videos when I drop them. Um, today I'm going to do a tutorial or a how-to on styling my hair in a page boy, very Dita Von Tees, um, 1950s glam. I don't normally style my hair in a page boy. I usually do very much like Marilyn Monroe waves, curls, big curls, um, still 1950s, but kind of 1940s too. Um, so this is going to be fun. I just thought since I was going to do it, I might as well film it. So first I'm going to show you how I rolled my hair. I use these little like foam rollers. Um, I got these at Sally's and they Velcro. So they're really easy to use. Um, these two are going this way diagonally. This one's going forward. This one's going kind of down and forward because a page boy like curls under. You've seen Dita Von Tees is very beautiful. Um, and then I'm going to spin around. All of these are facing under and then everything's over directed down because you want the volume to go down and we're not looking for a high um, pompadour or anything like that. So let's get started with unrolling these. I'm going to unroll the back first. Like I said, they're really easy to use. I just, and then you can also wash them. I wash them in the washing machine because like after a few uses, they get kind of um, stiff from your setting spray. So kind of like that. Um, you're also going to need some pomade. I use Suavecita. You're going to need some hairspray. I use L'Oreal El Night. And you're going to need like a, a bore brush and like a, rat tail comb, maybe a detangler brush. I don't know, I just always have it out. So those are like the, the needs. Get these little things out. They're pretty easy to use. And they come with like a dozen, I think, in there. Honestly, I like them so much <laughs> for the ease of use. And the fact that I don't have to sit there rolling my hair up in a million little curlers because I have longer hair. Oh, also, this is like longer hair. So this will be fun to see how it, a page boy looks on a lo like longer style, I guess we could say. I um, set my hair when it's completely dry and then I spray Suavecito styling spray in it. Um, I'll have to show you a picture of it in a second. They sell it. It used to be called grooming spray. Now it's styling spray. And that's what I set my hair with. Okay, so all of the curlers are out. Kind of like, I always like comb through them. There goes my robe. I always comb through them a little bit to kind of break them up from like the solid curl. And this is kind of what it looks like in the back. Okay, let's get to brushing. Your best friend is gonna be your brush out. Trust me, you're gonna brush, brush, brush a lot. So I always go like in the direction you want your curl to go and then you kind of start bringing it down. So bring it up or bring it out, bring it down. It starts to look crazy before it looks good, trust me.
This is where a lot of patience comes in. Oh, you're also going to need some duckbill uh, clips. Duckbill clips. I'll show you those in a second. See, and with just those, like, I think I've got like 10 curlers in, and you already have like a lot of volume. If you wanted to not do a page boy and you wanted to go a little bit more voluminous, you definitely could stop here, pomade it, put your little um, net on, and you're good. But that's not the look I'm going for today. I am literally trying a look I've never done on myself because people were asking, so I might as well try it. So already you can see it kind of coming together. Your hands are going to be your best friend, your brush. So here I'm literally just combing out my curls. I have really long hair and this brush out was torturous. I recently trimmed my hair because of this comb out. This I'm putting pomade to slick down some of the flyaways. You can see it does help a lot, but the comb out was not done. Again, I never really do a page boy look. So it was a trial and error for me. I just thought it would be fun to film. You can see I am using my duckbill clips to try to shape that wave in the front. I feel like this side really cooperated well with me. I barely even had to work with it. Like it was just shaping so beautifully. I was so happy with it. It was creating that under curl. See, look at, oh my God. And then the back of my head, which wasn't as hard. As the other side of my head, which you'll see, I just brush and brush and brush forever. But yes, so I go back in, I tease a little bit of it, and then I end up combing it out. Just because, guys, I have really long hair. And in hindsight, with these rollers, I think I would have used larger rollers. So next time I'm going to try that and less rollers too. I put a hair comb in, which you kind of probably missed because I was talking, but I was trying to help that little side stay back. And here I am using my hand to try to wrap that hair around and get it to go under. But I feel like maybe I just put too many curlers on that side. It does start to do what I want it to do. It just takes a really long time. But I really... I love doing different hairstyles because it challenges me. Again, using my hand and my brush. Also my duckbill clips to just kind of keep the hair in place and keep those waves going. I ended up taking out the hair comb because it kind of set with the hair back so I was liking that a little bit more and I use the comb to just even out those curls because honestly that side I liked so much it was just getting the other side to cooperate with me with the back of your head you're just gonna have to wing it like me you got it there you go get it to go under Every time you comb your hair, though, it's going to move the back of your head and you can split the hair in the back, like just split it in half and then you'll have like two pieces of hair. So here I teased it a little bit again because I wanted it more round on that side. And I'm trying to get this side to loosen a little bit more. When you have longer hair, you're literally just combing out forever, which is what I felt like, which is why I sped this video up. Because I was just combing for days, it felt like. And yeah, I didn't want to bore you. I think I was talking the whole time, but I was kind of annoyed with the fact that my hair was taking forever. 
So here we go. I'm getting more of a shape in here that's going a little bit better. It's coming together, like um, blending together a little better. Oh yeah, get that wave going in the front. Use lots of mirrors. I'm going to end up putting a mirror on that back wall just so that I can see when I'm doing my hair like this. So next time I do a bathroom video, you guys will see a mirror. I reached down to get my little combs or my little duck clips because I want to kind of keep that back down and then make that poof out like a page boy and curl under. You'll see what I mean. I'm always adjusting. Like that. See how it's got that bottom wave that just bumps out? It's the look I was going for with those combs. You can see it real good right here. Or with those clips, I mean. Now I'm getting everything to just go together, live together. Every piece of your comb is going to be your best friend. The rat tail, the fine tooth, your hands, and everything is a trial mm -hmm. and error. So mm -hmm. if it doesn't come out perfectly, don't worry. This to me was trial and error. And I still feel like I could have done it better. And next time I will. So it's all a learning experience. Every time we do our hair. I've done a million wet sets on my hair. And I could do it in my sleep. But a page boy I have not done a million of on myself. So see, I'm just getting my comb and kind of repositioning all the curls. Literally, the more you comb it, the better it starts to look in a page boy style, I feel, because you want more of the wave than the curl. So this trick is I'm spraying it and I'm using my blow dryer and that creates kind of the net. It holds it all in place because I have long hair. So the setting on my blow dryer is on high heat, low blow. Okay, so... This is without teasing. This is a beautiful little like page boy esque look. I'm getting Betty Draper. I'm getting Dita Von Teese. Um, definitely like late 50s, probably early 60s, but still with a wave. Always have a wave. You could take your wave clips out. When you're done hairspraying. And then you'll have your finished look. So you can see I kind of ditched the comb, the hair comb idea. <laughs> but you never know with your brush out how things are going to go. I was hoping to get a little bit more lift underneath. I could, it, my hair so long. But I could if I teased it. I just didn't want to tease it today. But, let's see, is that all of them? All right, so this thing is looking pretty darn cute. I have a little bit of I feel like super cute, super glam, and it took me about 20 minutes because of the extremely long brush out and a style that I don't usually do. But if this made you inspired to go and curl your hair with some foam rollers overnight, please drop a comment, tell me how yours comes out, ask me any questions, 
and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I'm going to be releasing videos weekly and outfit of the day shorts daily, hopefully, <laughs> but um, come back and visit me soon. Here's my little page boy look. Hope that you love it. Bye.